This morning, a dire new warning from authorities in Washington. I truly believe that this outbreak may be one of the most transformative and consequential events that we've had in this region and in this country. The state is the epicenter of the U.S. outbreak with at least 30 deaths now confirmed in the state and nearly 400 cases. This is not a time to be going out into public and close contact. Uh, it's just too dangerous. In the Seattle area, all events with 250 or more people are now banned. Hospitals in Seattle now restricting visitors, only allowing exceptions for caretakers, spouses, or end-of-life visits. And local nursing homes by far the hardest hit by this crisis, and now banning all guests, leaving families locked out, peering through windows, blowing kisses from afar. Health officials warn it could be just a matter of time until scenes like this will be common across the country. The grim reality is that uh, for the elderly, COVID-19 is almost a perfect killing machine. The sobering reality raising new questions about how prepared American hospitals are for this level of medical response. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, even a moderate pandemic will require 865,000 people to be hospitalized. But the American Hospital Association says the number of beds available for intensive care in the U.S. right now is one-tenth of that. And if the pandemic gets as bad as the Spanish flu was in 1918, we have only enough ventilators for 20% of the patients. U.S. health officials are now working with a variety of companies to help boost the level of medical supplies with ventilators and medical masks, a major concern. This is like a natural disaster that's happening in slow motion. Doctors in Italy, where there's an urgent need right now for ventilators, have a warning for their counterparts in America. It happened like it was like a bomb, you know, it exploded and all of a sudden you are overwhelmed by the patients. And there's still huge concern about the lack of testing. As of last night, ABC News confirmed about 9,000 coronavirus tests have been administered across the U.S., not including all private testing. The government has promised 4 million tests will be available by the end of this week. States like New York are now saying they will no longer rely on the federal government and will use private labs.